All right, let's go through an 11. And I, I don't want you to give away yeah. what you don't want to give away here, but you know, you already mentioned Zach Steffen. So I think there is a real competition in goal, Definitely. right? Correct? Definitely. Definitely. Okay, if you are talking to your goalkeepers, and you know, it can include Horvath, it can include uh, Johnson, and yeah. obviously Turner and, right. and Steffen right now. If you're talking to them, what are you telling them as to what is going to ultimately make that final decision as to who's gonna be out there in goal? Their performance. Their performance with our team and their performance with their clubs. Um, you know, ver some key elements that are important for us is a goalie that can deal with, with crosses, deal with aerial balls um, on set pieces. Uh, it's also key to be able to organize the defense. It's also key shot stopping. It's also key building out of the back. So those four components are, are really, um, you know, areas that we look for in the goalkeeper. But if, if Sean Johnson is playing lights out and throwing up clean sheets and winning every single game and doing all that, you just said earlier that you do take into account where the person is playing, so. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that is one thing that we still have to consider, right? If, if Zach and, and Ethan are playing in the championship and playing every week, how does that compare to what Sean's doing? And that's just watching the games and watching the level of the games. And if Matt's playing, you know, the odd game in the cup, what does that mean? One thing that uh, I'm pretty comfortable with is we saw a lot of growth with Zach in his first year at Man City. So he went from MLS to, to the top club in the world, and he really did improve, even though he wasn't playing a lot of games. So we're hoping that Matt's gonna ha get that similar bump going to the next level at the, um, in the Premier League. All right, we know that there's injuries and all that kind of stuff. When you go in your back four, I'm gonna put Dest on the right, I'm gonna put Jedi on the left, and then your center backs, obviously with the, uh, the injury to, uh, to Robinson, that opens up an opportunity there. Walker Zimmerman, I'm gonna put him in there. Uh, Who's that other? Per Why do you hate John Brooks? You hate, you don't you don't hate John Brooks, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come uh, on, people. But there are people uh, out there who are saying, well, where is John Brooks in all yeah. this? Yeah. So the first thing, I mean, to tell you guys, there has never been anything personal with John Brooks. Uh, there's, I've visited him a number of times at Wells Fargo. We have a number of phone conversations. Continue to have dialogue. That's that, you know, there's never been anything personal. For us, it's been about. Um, you know, what he's doing with us on the field, what he's doing with his club on, on the field. And that's, all, that's the only, only thing that, that we're looking at. Um, so if you go to some other center backs, you know, it's a real shame Miles Robinson got hurt. He was a breakout player in my mind in 2021. And, um, you know, you feel terrible for a guy like that to get that injury in the World Cup year. But then you have guys, um, you know, Cam Carter-Vickers who came in and did a, a, a good job in, in um, in June, you have Aaron Long, who's, who's been a force in this team, very good leadership qualities. You have Chris Richards, who you know could be on his way to the Premier League or is on the way to the Premier League. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. And you have Walker Zimmerman. I mean, those are those are three guys. Some guys that have, are a little bit further away, but you know still evaluating. Eric Palmer Brown, who's playing in League One. Mark McKenzie, who's playing in the Belgium top league. So there's a number of players, and for us, it's about getting the combination right, both from a leadership standpoint and what we ask them to do on the field. All right, we, we talked about the three in the mid in the midfield, and I don't think that's gonna change. And, and injuries, but we have we, other guys. We have Kellen, you, have you didn't guys. mention. We have Luca De La Torre, who's sure. you know, been performing well. It's, it's, a, it's a strong midfield group. But then up top, Christian on the left, Weah on the right, and certainly some other options up there. And then we talked about the, the yeah. number nine. Would, you know, Gio Reyna, wonderful player, young player, inexperienced player, and obviously a player that has not shown a consistency to stay healthy. And if he is healthy, and if he is there, where, what position do you see him playing in your 11? I think he could be a, a winger that plays between the lines, so not a vertical winger, or he can play one of the attacking midfield positions. But you wouldn't play him up in the striker position as a false I mean, position? I, you know, I, I've, we haven't done that, you know, and I don't think it's, you know, it's necessarily time in the World Cup to be experimenting with, with a, a very young player in right. a new position. But you never know. You never know. Maybe Dortmund plays him there. I don't think they're going to, but maybe we can get some footage by what he's doing with his club. But my guess is, um, you know, he'll play either as an attacking midfielder with Dortmund or as an internal winger. But that means, and this is a good problem to have, yep. that somebody has to come out. So yes. if you play for, in Christian's position, Christian has to come. But you play in Wales' right. position, yeah. somebody's going to come out. But good, that's great. Good, good decisions. No, it's great. I mean, think about the options you have. You, you didn't even, we didn't even mention Jordan Morris, Brendan Aronson, Paul Ariola, Christian Pulisic, Tim Weah, Malik Tillman, Gio Reyna. I mean, that's options. That, that's pretty good. 
mentioned center forward. Another problem spot is that backup left back position. You, you've even talked about that being an area of a little bit of concern. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it, how concerned are you about that in the next few months? Are you really hoping that somebody emerges and really grabs that? Well, ideally, it'd be nice to see, you know, guys like George Bello really kick on and play every week in, in the, the second Bundesliga. It'd be nice to see Sam Vines, um, you know, break into to his team and have a consistent starting role. Um, but, you know, if they don't, you know, it's not, um, I, I think we could look at something like playing one of the right, right footers on the left side. It's, you know, it's done all the time and, and we'd look to do something like that. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.